say Jamel's a walkover, but when you look at the, what I was talking about earlier, the Castano kid, whatever, like, come on. Gave him a hard time, had to go two fights. Tony Harrison, two fights. Canelo got way more power, way more experience. You know what I'm saying? Knows how to have great defense. Knows how to like, he's getting better with some of his movement. Chavo's not the best uh, uh, athletic fighter out there. He's not. He's a straight up guy. And Canelo got, you know, he's been working on his movement, so and he knows how to counter well. So I don't think um, it's going to be as difficult for Canelo to get the duck. Shout out to fighthype.com. Your reporter did his best to try to make Andre pick Jamel to win the fight. But Andre's not convinced. He says Jamel's not a very athletic fighter. Any questions? Jamel's Charlo level of competition at 154. I mean, it took him a rematch to beat Harrison, he says. And it also took him a rematch to beat Castano, which a lot of people thought Castano won the first fight. And I know what you're saying. Of all people, Andre is questioning someone's level of competition, but he does have a point. And he also edifies Canelo in this point too. He says Canelo has fought John Ryder and John Ryder has been knocked out since when? 160? And he was weight drained at that weight, but no one has knocked out John Ryder at 168. In matter of fact, if John Ryder was such an easy touch, Benavides didn't fight him, but he fought Lemieux. Um, Caleb Plant has never fought him. We're talking about the top 168 pounders. People have criticized Canelo's wins against John Ryder, but no one is knocking down doors to get in the ring with him. It'd be such an easy touch. And we talk about Triple G. Yeah, Triple G is older now, long in the tooth, but who has gotten in the ring with Triple G besides Canelo at 168 and 160? The Charlo brothers haven't. David Benavides hasn't fought Triple G. Demetrius Andre hasn't fought Triple G. It's easy to say, well, Charlo would have knocked him out. Demetrius Andre would have knocked him out. Benavides would have knocked him out. But none of these guys got in the ring with Triple G, so we don't really know. And back to John Ryder. Two super middleweights got in the ring with them that we know. Daniel Jacobs and Colin Smith. Both fights, I thought he won. He did not get the nod at Colin Smith. But going by Andre's logic, he thinks... Canelo has been in with the tougher opponents. He's been up a higher weight. He punches harder. Jamel Charlo's not a slick fighter. That's going to create problems for Jamel Charlo. And also, he does not see the slippage that everybody else sees in Canelo. Instead, he sees Canelo facing tougher competition, which makes him seem like he's slipping a lot. With that being said, he doesn't believe that Jamel Charlo is going to be a difficult W. For Canelo Alvarez, he actually thinks Canelo has a chance of stopping him. And that's my opinion on the fight. I agree with Andre. I think Canelo goes in there and dominates Jamel Charlo and he stops him. But I've been wrong before. And if Jamel wins the fight, I'll give him full credit. Anyway, what do you think about Andre's comments? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.